Alright guys, so we're working on this compass again, um, and basically this is going to be a video on how to check your trans fluid, CVT fluid, uh, because everyone thinks it's like magic, like a unicorn did something with a uh, magic dragon or something, I'm not really sure, but it's not that complicated. Uh, they sell the Dorman Trans Dipstick at AutoZone, you just go there, tell them what vehicle it is, they'll get you the right one. So this is pretty much for any uh, Jeep, Dodge, uh, any Mopar, you're going to see this right here. So this says, you know, caution, you go to pull this out, oh, there's, there's no dipstick on it. So you can see, you know, use CBT fluid only, blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. So you're going to go to AutoZone, they're going to give you this huge dipstick. You can see it right here, I got it looped together. And then you're going to get some paperwork with it. And this is going to tell you right here what transmission and stuff you have. So we're working on a compass, which is right here, which is the same as a caliber and a Patriot. And we have a CBT transmission, so we're going to use uh, chart B. So we're going to go find chart B, which is right here. So. Here is chart B for CVT fluid level. Now on the side here is millimeters. We'll get to that in a second. That's on the dipstick. And right here is your fluid temperature. Now we don't have a machine that will tell us fluid temperature. You can go to the dealer and have them verify it. Uh, have them check it or do whatever. But what we're going to do is, so we know the temperature outside. So we're going to fire it up quick and we're going to read it then and that's what we're going to call it at. Then I'm going to probably take it over to my buddy at Lehigh Valley Transmissions and have him hook it up and he'll be able to read the temperature and double check it and make sure that we're good to go. But as you can see here's minimum fill, here's maximum fill and then you follow this millimeter over and then follow your temperature up. Uh, just a simple graph there. So let me get this dipstick opened up this thing is like almost as tall as me so right here at the end that's where your millimeters are going to come from uh focus there you go 20 30 40 50 so uh what you're going to do is you're going to stick this in this hole right there just like that and then what you're going to do is you're going to shove it down until that hits the bottom of the pan. So right there is where we need to be at. Now they say it's very important for it to be level. We are level-ish right now. We're just trying to make sure we have no leaks and we want to check it quick because like I said, we need to do ambient air temperature and that'll be close to transmission because it won't, you know, it'll heat up, but we'll get it right before it really starts to get heated up. All right, so I'm gonna go start it up. Uh, it is level now. We dropped it to the ground, and you do have to, you know, put it through all the gears and everything, make sure fluid goes where it needs to go, and then we'll have Wayne show you how to check it, how it shows on a dipstick. Pretty self-explanatory. You just read the number where the fluid is. So I'm going to go fire it up, and uh, we'll let Wayne show you some stuff up here. All right, yeah, there's nothing on this dipstick. They're about, like, 27, I would say. Actually, like, right, right 30. 